Morning, Chris. Good morning, Tim. From Manchester City to Millwall, could this be any more of a, a different challenge for your team? No, it's the next one, and it's uh, it's just as important um, because they're representing the football club. We all are. Um, we want to go well. Um, we want to go down there and put a good performance on and, and get a result and be in the draw for, for Monday if that's the day the draw is. You're in a very strong position at the moment in the league. Does that change the approach in the FA Cup? Is this a competition that you can have a real go at now? I've always I talked about you know in the previous round possibly putting out a a, 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 a stronger side or a strong very strong side and uh, that was dictated to by by the two fixtures and how the two fixtures um, materialised the Man City away and the and the Liverpool away uh, but we'll assess this morning uh, and pick a side and uh, it's going to be a strong side and you know regardless of of how many changes that we make, these boys are Premier League footballers. They're in a Premier League 25-man squad, and uh, now if they've got any designs on playing in the first team or or pushing in the first team, that's the boys that obviously uh, are not in at the moment that might play on 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 Saturday. They've got a good. They've got to put good performances in, produce good performances, and uh, have a. I always have a bit of a laugh as well t- to myself um, you know when I don't pick a team you know uh, for a Premier League team I don't pick a, a team that I don't think is the strongest team you know I'm not going to leave my best players on the bench or out the, or, or, or out the 18 so for me always a responsibility of the players um, to force the issue and make my mind up for for, 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 for me by what they do when the opportunity arises, um, do I think it'll be the same team that, that started against Manchester City? No, but it'll still be a, a Premier League uh, group that go down to Millwall. Always a tough place to go. Been there many a time. Um, had successes, had failures, and uh, they're fantastic record in the FA Cup. Uh, it's good, and uh, and we're up against it. Uh, but wherever we play, um, I expect us to go well. David McGoldrick, how's he? He sat out the other night. Yeah, he did. Yeah, well, we didn't take a risk. So uh, we'll, as as we talked about, you know, big effort from the players on on Tuesday night. Tremendous amount of work that they got through. Distance covered, because you have to when you're playing uh, the calibre of Manchester City and and the way we played and the way we. Uh, uh, defended and, and tried to 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 to, uh, to obviously get the balance right um, going forward as well. So there was a lot of tired bodies. So we'll assess this morning. We'll assess a couple of the ones that got knocked from uh, from that game, and obviously we'll assess David McGoldrick as well. Dean Henderson, you praised him after the game and, and talked about his England credentials. Have you had dialogue? This season with with Gareth Southgate about Dean or about any of your players? Yeah, well, I, I have. I've bumped into Gareth on a couple of occasions. He's been present at a few of our matches here, which I think, um, and I'm sure, not always to watch opposition players. I should imagine he wants to keep a close eye on a few of our boys. So they don't do themselves any harm. You never do yourself any harm by playing well and uh, putting in good performances. And and uh, and the boys have done that consistently this season. So obviously the English boys. Um, and, I, and I don't and I don't believe he's selective to 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 the big clubs. Um, you know he's he's, he's done a, an absolute brilliant job um, with a lot of young players and and he'll pick players I believe that are in form that can can do a job for him um, in systems that uh, he, he might want to go with. Um, obviously ours is a, a bit of a change of system to what the majority of England teams have been but I do believe and, and you have to Gareth's such a good manager from a fle- flexibility point of view um, uh, he'll, he'll, uh, he'll from a tactical point of view that um, he, uh, he'll cover all bases and uh, and I'm sure that you know he'll, he'll have looked at a few of our players and thought you know they might be able to do it but they have to obviously be consistent in, in the performances right the way through and, and obviously there's a there's a real good group of English players at the moment, a real healthy, healthy group, even though there's, there's a few injuries at the top of the pitch. 
um, in behind it. There's there's a whole host of host of talent that that will be pushing hard in the remaining sort of 16, 17 games to to stake a claim. And uh, and why shouldn't my players? Why shouldn't a few of the players? You know, be in the frame. You mentioned the injuries at the top of the pitch. Could Billy Sharp be the man for the Euros? <laughs> He'll certainly think he might. Be. He, he could do a job. Uh, that's the confidence of Bill. Uh, I think that might have just passed him. Let's talk transfers because I know you, you enjoy. I, I love this part. <laughs> hey, you mentioned you were hoping to get a couple in this week. Obviously, you've got one already. How close are you to, to making a, a second edition? Yeah, we are. We are. We're, we're, uh, we're in discussion. Uh, obviously, there's another another week to go. Um, that day is obviously etched in my mind uh, because, it, as, 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 as you might not know, it's my wedding anniversary, so transfer deadline day, so I know which, which day it is. So uh, I've got a couple of things to do on that day, but I'd quite like to sign a couple of players before that and uh, and have a quiet quiet day on the uh, on the 31st. But you're hoping to get the business done then maybe before the weekend the second signing or uh, I think we're going to be struggling to get things done before before Saturday before we get on the get on the bus or the train or whatever mode of transport we're going down I don't even know it's been that hectic uh, into into London for the game on Saturday but focus on the, on the game and um, uh, uh, people are working extremely hard um, the recruitment department uh, the CEO and, and, and myself in, uh, in in trying to strengthen us in this uh, in this uh, last few days of the window, is it a striker that you're looking to get in? Is that is that the one? Uh, we're always open to see what's available, that what what makes us better in in all the positions. So things happen. Um, you know, we've had inquiries about our players. So you're always looking. At, and seeing and working out so you never know what happens um, so in all positions I think I've made it clear that you know we needed to cover a couple of positions at the back uh, in, in, in the back three back five that we've certainly done with uh, with, with Jack Robinson um, but you're always looking and, and I think Tim you, 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 uh, you never know what what's around the corner because if something happens with one of our players if something happens over the weekend with an injury you have to be on the ball and we're, we're certainly on the ball and, we, and we're certainly ready to go on a, on a couple of things Thank you Cheers Tim <coughs> Chris you mentioned about assessing David McGoldrick is Judge Baldock okay he got a heavy whack at the end of the Man City game Yeah I think then he picked himself off the ground <laughs> and, uh, and and sprinted past Mares to get back in so he weren't that injured <laughs> so um no, he's a competitive boy. He's been he's been outstanding for us this season, and uh, um, he gives it out and he takes it. Um, he'll not want to miss uh, on, on Saturday. But as I said, we've got to, we've got to make assessments on a, on a, on a few of the players and uh, and pick the right pick the right team to go and get a result. But still, we uh, I think it'll be foolish if we didn't have half an eye on um, what was round the corner uh, next Saturday at, P- at Crystal Palace as well How much will those fitness levels from the week uh, dictate how much you can rotate this weekend because I know last time you did want to um, play a little bit more of a stronger team but the obviously the, the schedule that you had over Christmas changed things a bit There won't be 11 changes You know, there might be t- 2 or 3 changes looking at a few of them who've, who've picked up Knox who, who might need a, uh, a bit of a breather um, but delighted with the contributions of, of Billy on, on Tuesday night. Thought he was excellent. Obviously, it's it's uh, one of the toughest, if not the toughest, game of the season. And uh, I, I thought Billy was outstanding. I know Oli Mack got a lot of plaudits for his performance, and rightly so. I thought, you know, up against the world class performers, I thought he was outstanding. Um, but Billy coming in and Mo Besic was was excellent as well. Gave us a spark. As I said afterwards, you know, Lunny's been outstanding for us John and uh, he might need it, need a, a little bit of a break which obviously he had on, on Tuesday but it's it's comforting that the likes of Mo come in and Billy Sharp come in and and, uh, and, and pick up their performances pretty quickly and put in really good ones to uh, to help us or, or try to help us gain something from a from a, obviously you know uh, a ridic- ridiculously tough feature with those considerations about the team, how conscious are you of giving the two new Jacks, Rodwell and Robinson, some game time now that they're in the door? 
I'm not sure if it's about giving them game time. Um, you know, you know they're 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 ready to go, um, but it isn't in my mind. It's not. You know, we have to give them minutes. We have to give him minutes. I think it might be the other way around. You know, who we might have to pull out uh, more than put in. Um, they'll work extremely hard and have done um, up here um, on the training ground on the Mondays to Fridays. So they're ready, um, but it'll be more the other 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 way around. Um, you know, it's it, it's not a like I said, it's not a uh, sort of charity. It's not we we need to give him a game because because uh, 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 he to keep his head up or or, or to, to to look at him. You know, we'll, he'll play. They'll play if we need to change it around for, through fatigue. Mentioned Dean Henderson already in the start of discussions with Manchester United. Just how likely do you think it is that, that Dean could return next season to the club, either on a loan or permanent basis? It won't be a permanent basis. No, uh, not, 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 not at all. Uh, the only option for us would be, would, would be a loan. So, you know, these... I don't want to get too much into it uh, out of respect for, for, for Manchester United and, you know, it's, there's nothing sinister in terms of what I'm talking about. You know, just you, I got asked the question and we'd love him back. Um, his future's at Manchester United, absolutely no doubt. They wouldn't have offered him the contract that they offered him in the, in the summer uh, and looking at his progression. You know, if if obviously the op- opportunity came came around, you know, uh, that number would be a huge number and one that we, we couldn't compete with. Um, so, I'm sure his future is at Manchester United. Dean has expressed, of course, um, his desire to play regular first team football, um, uh, and eventually at Manchester United, um, he's never wavered from that. So, you know, joining the dots up, the opportunity of him to come out to us next year and, uh, and come out for another season is one that we 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 would we would pursue uh, and hopefully make it happen. But as always, respecting Manchester United and is their player and uh, and what their what their wishes we'll will massively respect. Do you think you might have a fight on your hands to get him if that is the case with his rising stock, his performances, talk of England, and the potential that he'll be on the plane to the Euros in the summer? Uh, I'm, I'm sure even before this season, you know, people knew about Dean Dean Henderson, and he's only enhanced his uh, his reputation with his performances this year. I think one of the things that uh, we have got going for him is is his huge rapport with the with the supporters, uh, his relationship with them, uh, and uh, and I believe a uh, well I hope it is a really good relationship with me and my staff and his and his players. How much he respects them just as much as uh, they respect him. How important is is the remainder of the season for your for your strikers in terms of getting a few more goals? Performances have been good. But I think all of them could do with a few more goals in terms of your thinking going forward and what you might need to do in the summer to take this club to the next level. Always looking, always, uh, d- you know, nobody's ever cemented in, um, and and um, uh, and nobody on the outside is uh, is ever in the departure lounge. Like so, you know, that's that's the way I look at it. Um, they've always got an opportunity, and we're always looking and assessing. Of course, there is a long longer term view uh, which which I have and a, and, a, and a clear vision you know I've you know I've sort of not got my head round but understand what we might need to do uh, but that that opinion can always always change and where we need to prove where we need to improve um, and because that is the key um, and as I said after the, after Tuesday night you know we're a Premier League team and we've gone toe to toe with another Premier League team on Tuesday night. Uh, but that is, uh, and that is a possibly, and not possibly, it is, it is a one off what's happened to that football club. Um, but there's some huge, powerful football clubs uh, in, in the division, as, as we've seen this year. Um, and we're going on our own journey and our own path, and I'm comfortable with that. Um, I've always said um, I wouldn't put us uh, in a position or demand things that we couldn't achieve. Um, from a financial point of view, but working away with the with the owners because they understand the need to improve and establish themselves in the Premier League. You know, we 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 we're coming to a, a big period now where statistically we understand. You know, we're possibly two or three victories off. You know, regaining 
or, or retaining our, our, our position in the Premier League. That won't be enough for us uh, as, as players and staff. We'll keep going right to the end and obviously assess. But obviously, you know, with um, staying in the Premier League, if we manage to get those two or three victories, um, comes the financial um, gains and, and obviously for us to, to improve and move the club, club forward because um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough division, relentless division and, and you have to keep moving forward. With your forwards, do you feel there's a real opportunity for one of them to, to sort of really grasp that first team place now? They've all had a, a bit of an opportunity and they've all impressed in, in different ways. Well, it's the first season in for, for, for them all, from Callum Robinson and Ollie McBurney and Lise Musetta are young players. Obviously, Lise has had a little bit more experience than the other two. Uh, for Billy Sharp and, uh, and David McGoldrick, you know, they've dipped in and out of the Premier League uh, a, a, a couple of times, but not established Premier League players. But that goes to say, that goes the same with, 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 with all the players. So, you know, play well, take opportunities. Um, as, as forwards, obviously, you know, always um, the R bit is, is, is scoring, but I'm, I'm delighted with the team. We won't be in our position that we are. Um, of course, we, you know, we want to be a little bit more clinical. I think that is that is the key as well that turns you know, defeats into draws and draws into wins. But I can't be too too harsh and critical of the of the, of the performances so far in, in all aspects of the team going forward, and uh, and obviously from the other bit out out of possession. But you know, we've got a good group of group of, group of forwards that we've put together with the um, the uh, the the ability that we had to in the summer. I'm delighted um, with them, but they need to keep moving forward and they understand that. Has the club got a great track record in the FA Cup over the last 20 years of upsetting the odds from... Not from in the, the last three years, yeah. <laughs> from upsetting the odds from the League One and the Championship, now you are a, a Premier League team. Do, do you feel you can do something in this year's competition? Well, you, you're in the competition to go as far as possible. Well, as I said, desperately disappointed last year. The record hasn't been, hasn't been great. There has been priorities... Uh, at, at, at this club, um, to first of all get out of uh, out of League One, we got knocked out early doors against Bolton in that in that uh, in that campaign. Um, knocked out at Leicester, um, and obviously last year was disappointing. Um, but now we will see where it takes us. It's a, it's a, it's another game, and we'll assess. As I said, we'll pick a side. Uh, on, on a couple of different uh, various various aspects uh, of, uh, of of what we're doing, um, but you know, who knows? You just keep winning and keep winning, and we've got to get through a, a, an extremely tough tough tie. You know, I think anybody in the Premier League gets drawn away to Millwall would 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 recognise that is a well any team would recognise that is a really tough tie to uh, uh, to to get over. Uh, and and, uh, and and get through, and uh, with their past record, and how tough it is down there, and them going extremely well under Gary, in um, in in the championship. Yeah, just how impressed have you been? They're only five points off third at the moment, one defeat, and I think it's thirteen games. Just how impressed with the job that he's done since he took over from Neil Harris? Well, it's a tight division. Obviously, it was a it was a uh, a change. You know, Neil had been there for a few years, and worked extremely hard out of out of League One. Playoff final into into the championship. You know, finished their 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 season uh, that they finished above us was a was a remarkable achievement. We thought ours was a decent achievement, finishing in the in the top ten and going to the last game of the season. You know, the run that they had in the second part of the season was incredible under Neil. And then the change through to Gary, who's an extremely you know uh, good manager and successful manager, all change and tinker, uh, but not too much. You know, um, added some players in, l lost a few players, but you know, it's it's as I keep saying, it's still Millwall, uh, but under a slightly different approach. But it won't change too much. Um, competitive, um, but you know, we'll we'll play and and try and open you up. So uh, you know, as I said, Gary's you know worked in worked in the Championship um, for for a number of years and uh, been at some big clubs and. You know, going well and, and 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 pushing obviously to go into the playoffs and above. Had some really good battles with them, particularly down there over <laughs> over recent years. We remember the one last year and David McGoldrick's late winner, the the three two. That was some game. Yeah, it was a great game for us. Um, uh, first year, obviously, Jack O'Connell and Ball 
in, in, in the 91st minute um, or whether it, were, whether it was yeah we uh, dis- didn't deserve to get anything from the second game great great finish by Brooksy but they, they overpowered us in, in the second game and I thought we were excellent like last year up at half time they come roaring back uh, we dominated the second half um, did he score with a penalty and got a last minute winner and uh, they're always popular those last minute winners and uh, in front of our punters and yeah it was a great great result in, 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 in what was obviously a, a fantastic away campaign for us, for us last year but still as I said the, the, how tight the game was was, was, was there to be seen and, uh, and I'm sure it's going to be just as tight on, on, on Saturday afternoon I know you won't take the game lightly anyway, but the number of Premier League scalps that, that Millwall have taken over recent years, that'll just, just add to the, the the sense of taking this game extremely seriously. I enjoy these games. Um, uh, I, I, I really do. Um, it's a different type of type of game um, from from Tuesday, you know, um, but we have to approach it, you know, in, in, in the same manner. I thought the commitment to the game on Tuesday night was 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 excellent. Um, it was a proper Sheffield United performance. We could have done a little bit better with the opportunities that we had, but it was front foot. It was aggressive. Um, it was positive, and um, and and the players are going to have to produce that on 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 Saturday. And yeah, they've they've knocked out so many Premier League teams, and uh, they'll be looking to do the same to us. Um, I I I don't like inconsistency. In attitude, in wherever I've managed, I really don't like that. It's one of my pet hates, um, and uh, it's really important that our attitude is spot. If we get beat, we get beat through, you know, a mistake or something brilliant from them, or their goalkeeper playing really well, or, or or us not playing as well as we can do with the with the ball or whatever. But not not on attitude. We won't be found wanting on attitude, and uh, and that's that's really important to me. Uh, and and the group know that. Thanks, Chris. Cheers, Alan. Hi, Chris. Uh, you said to Tim earlier that um, you'd had inquiries. Is that just for fringe players? Other clubs coming in for fringe players, or are you bracing yourself for for one of the frontline players being a target? Well, there's been a lot of speculation. Uh, we haven't had uh, any any inquiries about uh, any of our regular, consistent players that have played for for the majority of the Premier League. Um, but you never know. You have to be you have to be ready. Um, but they're all under contract, so it would take a, 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 an unbelievable bid to, to remove one of our players at the moment, as it would do if we were the other way around. Um, and obviously, we've inquired about certain players and come back with with enormous enormous numbers. Um, so I don't expect, I, I uh, don't want that to happen, and I don't expect it to happen, but. We live in a, this world of football that anything can happen, so we just have to wait and see. Uh, with regards to Jack Robinson, when did he first appear on your radar? About three years ago. Um, that QPR? Or yeah, I mean, I've still. seen his, con- uh, his, his, um, uh, his, his progression from Liverpool and obviously went to QPR when they were in the Premier League, mm. suffered a, 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 a bad injury. Um, but uh, tracked him, followed him, tried to get him um, last year, and he signed for he signed for Forest. And uh, when he wasn't available, uh, when he was available and wasn't playing or involved at Forest, he was he was somebody that I thought could do a job for us. Because he, he had all the hype surrounding him when he started. He was the youngest player at Liverpool, but it's not quite worked out. When you speak to somebody like him, do you do you mention John Fleck, Jack O'Connell? You know the reputation you've got. For taking these lads and, and really pushing their careers on, does that come up when you discuss? I think they they know they know uh, our boys anyway through playing against them, and uh, and they know their journeys as well. So I don't have to. Um, does it help? Is, is, yeah, it's, it, it's good for them that you know I'm not I'm not starstruck with with numbers, um, and because it was this number that that I'm looking for faults. This is a player that I believe will will add to the squad, uh, and. And, uh, and produce a, a fierce competition for for, for Jack, and um, which which he hasn't really had. Young Kean's been in there, but it's a it's a position that um, that he's not played a lot in the in the past at Man City as a kid or where he was at Oldham. 
uh, and it's such an important position for us. But he does he does left wing back and he does left central midfield as well. Uh, and he's he's an aggressive competitor. Um, he'll bring something into the change room. He'll bring something onto the training ground. And he'll genuinely believe that he has an opportunity to to, to force his way into a, into a Premier League first team. And uh, meeting him, I've been impressed. I, I, I knew a little bit about him before, but speaking to him uh, and, and talking to him, there's a there's a huge desire and a and a, and a window of opportunity for him that I'm sure that 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 he'll uh, he'll do as much as he possibly can to take. We all know how much hard work goes into this system and spoke to Martin Craney and even Phil Jagielka in the summer. It took them quite a bit to get up to speed. Jag's not got anywhere <laughs> anywhere near it. He sacked we it. We said he was gonna. Jag's, Jags has sacked it and wants to play centre half now. <laughs> <laughs> how do you bring them up to speed? Do you sit them down with video analysis or Yeah, we talked about it with um, with Jack Rodwell in the lead up to the to filed game, so we'll, we'll go through bits and pieces. He'll have seen us play, mm. he understands the role. He's perfect for the role. It's a bit of an hybrid position, you know, centre half and, and left back. He's got all the qualities. He's decent in the air, and he's really good on the ball and he's aggressive. And uh, he's got his fight his way past a decent player, but you never know. Um, but uh, yeah, it's video analysis and and drills in training, and um, and he's a, and he's an intelligent boy as well. He's an intelligent boy. Um, he, he knows what the game's about. He knows what that position's about, and. I think these are these are key things in 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 our system and 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 in the Premier League. You know how quick do we learn? Uh, how quick do we pick up? You know you you listen to to people talk about Manchester City and and uh, we have you know or I, I've had a, an opportunity of gaining a, a little bit of information. Not as I said, not being sinister about it, but they they pick their team quite late on 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 Tuesday. And went with a different formation. And I just think that just shows how intelligent their players are to grasp that formation, what the manager wants to put onto them. This is what we're going to do. This is what, how we're going to play. These are sort of your relative positions that we want you to take up. This is the strengths of them that we're trying to negate. This is where we think we can open them up. There it goes. So they play four three three. They play four two three one. And uh, and when he chucks them on them, they have the uh, they're smart enough to to adapt with what an hour and a half to, to two hours to go uh, and then produce a performance like that so you know I'm not these are some of the things that we have to really get up to speed with you know from a player's point of view and obviously I think that shows the quality of players that they've got not just from a technical point of view but from a smart point of view and a tactical point of view for the Mondays then Sundays. 